Asked on the channel by somebody, how do you do screen recording on Telegram? So I always recommend that you have the latest version of Telegram installed. I think the desktop version that I'm going to show it on now is version 3 and the mobile one is version 8. It's the latest. So they've changed a basic setting is that they've changed the uh, terminology because of the high end features of video now from voice chat to actually live stream for uh, the goodies that you have inside groups and channels when you're busy communicating and streaming with unlimited number of people. Okay, so that's as it is. So I'm going to just maximize this. This is Telegram for desktop. Uh, as you see the little icons here, um, I've just, if I hover over here, you can see that I can grab this and stretch it out, but I'm pretty much hiding it here because there's other names in there that I don't want to edit out afterwards. So I've just, for those of you wondering what this is here, these are pretty much uh, folders. So you can go into settings, into folders, create folders and put groups or chats into those folders. It keeps it nice and neat. Okay, but let's focus on the main thing. So when you're talking about screen sharing, that basically happens in Telegram in groups and channels. Okay, so not in your conventional chats. Unless I overlook that, I must maybe check it, but I think it's only groups and channels. So I've got a group here, it's called our gratitude journey. And then you go to the menu item, which shows up like this to create a, what we call now a live stream. It used to be called voice chat. If you click here, it's going to start up and say live stream. So it says starting live stream, choose whether you want to be displayed as one of your personal accounts or as your channel. So I have a choice of going through whichever of my personal accounts and then I could live schedule as per usual. So I'm going to go continue, start this up. Okay, so the usual is here. I can start up uh, my video. I can then connect using the video. My video will pop up, etc. Just to understand that this dialogue is actually your live stream environment. You can still keep chatting and moving around here. So they, they're almost like two applications that function with each other okay so you could have this where you're still chatting to people in the group about stuff and people can be listening to a presenter you know, whatever your choice is okay and then everything still works exactly the same we are now looking for where we're going to be able to find the share screen okay the share screen as it is on a pc desktop might differ you know when you're coming to the apple devices and so forth but this is for PC and I use Android routinely. Uh, so these three dots are where they are here. If you click this, you will see this edit live stream title, start recording, which is just audio. I'm looking lots forward to them bringing in video recording of the video stream that comes through. That will really make things great. And there it is, screen sharing, okay? Um, but just to show you also, Besides the fact that this is a almost a pop-out dialogue or a second screen, if you maximize this, it will give you this presentation, which I suggest you do if you're on a call because then you can see the screen bigger when you're sharing your screen. So we are going to go now to those three dots store and say share the screen. At this stage now we are seeing what we have here in front of us is your, our gratitude. This is screen two. I've got two monitors. Okay, and that is another screen, which is almost the one behind what we are seeing here. Okay, if you have other screens that are open, you, you could select them in here. If you've worked with screen sharing in other applications, it's pretty much the same. Just to note that if you're going to be sharing a video on a second screen or, or app that's popping up with a video, you can say share system audio so that your audience can listen. So if I click here now, I'm making my selection and I go screen share it's going to bring that up okay so this is my second screen i'm going to move my cursor on that screen can you see it there okay so that's on my second screen that's the one that i'm literally sharing now if i go up here and i kind of minimize it this is what we're going to see and i can drag out the size differently so i can operate here so if i come let's see if i go here um there we go you can see maybe let me just open up a simple notepad on that screen oops it's on this screen let me move it there so there you can see if i was sharing that screen that's how it would happen i would share my screen on that side and that's what people would see streaming through okay now i'm going to just close it now if you for example done explaining and sharing 
and you want to disconnect, you go to the same button here. Um, I'm going to just maximize so we possibly could see it better. If you go here, you click here, it's going to open the same dialog and it's still locked onto that screen. So if you wanted to flip to another one, you could then flip there and close it. But in this case, if you want to stop it, you're there and you go, the button changes from share to stop sharing. So if I do this now, you see this changes, it disappears here. Okay, so that's how you share, share your screen. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, excuse the motorbike riding past there. And then there to stop sharing. Okay. Hopefully that helps um, and gets you up and running. As I said, it's the same groups and channels. And exciting news is that you can literally have unlimited number of people coming on sharing their videos. No artificial limitations. And if you wanted to start your own TV channel and actually run a, have a channel and broadcast live streaming on it, that's what this is designed for. I simply love Telegram. They, they just take things to the next level always. Okay, so have a fantastic day and Shalom.